Okay, if we can have your attention. I want to introduce Ed Roth from the Shine program. If you do not have a handout, just raise your hand. We'll, we'll make sure you get one. It's a packet of information that we want to share with you. Welcome. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you? I hope everybody enjoyed their meal. Okay, if anybody can't hear me, just let me know, okay? Uh, today, we want to talk about uh, Medicare open enrollment. We have a uh, packet of information or a handout we gave you, okay? And uh, today's presentation, we're going to talk about a SHINE overview and what SHINE is all about. Many of you know about SHINE, and you've uh, had uh, SHINE services before. Uh, we're going to look at Medicare options. We're going to look at Medicare fall open enrollment and what's going on this year for open enrollment, as well as some assistance programs for folks that may need may need, may need some help uh, with their uh, with their finances in Medicare. Okay, there are some programs to help people that are around. Okay, so let's look at uh, a Shine overview first. Uh, Shine stands for serving the health and insurance information needs of everyone. Everyone on Medicare, okay? You have to be on Medicare to get SHINE services or eligible for Medicare. We provide free, unbiased insurance information and counseling to Medicare beneficiaries. So our services are free and they're unbiased. We're not brokers. We like you to stay away from brokers. Brokers are biased, okay? Your SHINE counselor is in for unbiased they're going to give you true, straight information on, on your, on your health care plans. We have over 600 volunteer SHINE counselors available throughout Massachusetts. Here in Uxbridge, uh, Pat Nectow is, uh, is our SHINE counselor here in, Nectow, in, in, in Uxbridge. And uh, she's uh, here uh, right now during open enrollment. I think you're here once a week. And uh, if you want to uh, discuss your health plan, it's a good idea to set up, to set up an appointment with, uh, with Pat. Uh, Pat leaves in, in January, and then you're going to have to put up with me. I'll be coming here once a month to, uh, to meet with folks and have questions about their health insurance. Uh, so Shine Council, as I say, they're available in senior centers and other community-based sites. Quick questions. If you have GIC, if you're a state retiree, you have a GIC retirement program, okay? If you have a private retiree plan, if you've worked all your life, you have a retiree plan from Hewlett Packard and Digital or somewhere like that, okay? And if you have Federal Blue Cross, all right? You have, if you have these types of plans, your options and enrollment times may be different. First, they have GIC, the enrollment period is in, uh, in April or May. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a different deal. So I don't want you to get confused with having straight Medicare and if you have a GIC plan or a, a retiree plan or a, if you're a retired federal employee, your options are completely different than the options we're going to talk about today. So we're in the middle of the open enrollment period. And that is October 15th through December 7th, with coverage will be effective on January 1st. Plans change. All the Medicare plans are going to change from year to year. They change premiums, co-pays, plan formulary under drugs. They change a lot of things every year. Uh, they can end their contract with Medicare. If an individual elects not to do anything in open enrollment, that's fine. You don't have to do anything in open enrollment. You remain in the same plan you're in now. Okay? You remain in the same plan you're in now. All right? Now, during open enrollment, here's what your options are. If you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, a Medicare Advantage plan would be a Fallon Senior plan, a Tufts Medicare Preferred plan, uh, uh, maybe a Harvard Pilgrim Stride plan, a Blue Cross Blue Shield HMO or PPO, or a United Healthcare plan, and I, I think there's one other one out there that I'm 
I didn't get, but that's all right. Aetna. An Aetna plan, who said that? This guy's good, he's got an Aetna plan. Or an Aetna plan, uh, you, 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 uh, you can change to a different plan if you want to, okay? You can, or you can change, if you're in one of those plans, you can change back to original Medicare and enroll in a Part D plan along with the Medicap if you want to. If you're in original Medicare, you can enroll in the Medicare Advantage plan. If needed, you can change your prescription drug plan. A member of a Medicare Advantage plan must have Medicare Parts A and B and must continue to pay for their Part B. Okay, what did I just say? Good question. Got to think myself. Uh, what I just said, it, it's something similar to what you had when you were working. You had an opportunity to change your plan every year. This is Medicare's open enrollment when you have that opportunity, okay? So this is the one time of the year between October 15th and December 7th when you can change your, you can change your plans. Any questions? Very good. Thank you. Now, some people may have original Medicare and a Medigap, okay? Original Medicare and a Medigap. A Medigap would be like a Blue Cross Blue Shield Medex, a Blue Cross Blue Shield Bronze, or a number of other companies sell Medigap plans. With that type of plan, Medicare is your primary coverage, and the Medigap plan supplements your Medicare. So there are some changes for Medigap plans in 2020. Supplement one, like the bronze plan, can no longer be offered to people who are newly eligible to enroll in Medicare after 1-1-20. So if you're just new to Medicare, after the first of the year, you can no longer enroll in Supplement 1. Okay, you can no longer enroll in Supplement 1. It's still available to anyone age 65 by, by, Jan by January 1st or anybody that's already on Medicare. So if you've got a Supplement 1 plan or a Medigap bronze or a, a Medex plan, you can keep it. If you've got it now, you can keep it. The only people who are affected by this by, is somebody that's turning 65 on or after the 1st of January 2020. Okay? Now there's going to be a new plan available for all those who are beneficiaries. It's the same as the Supplement 1 plan that pays for everything. You don't get any bills if you get a Medex bronze. You're well known. Okay? Except that it does not pay the Medicare Part B premium. That's the only thing it doesn't pay. Medicare Part B premium for 2019 was $185 at the beginning of the year. That's the only thing it doesn't pay. So that's the changes for a Medicare supplement plan. A month. It's a, a month. month. Yeah. yeah. What did I say? A year? No. $185. It's $185 is deductible for the year. Okay, you pay that at the beginning of the year uh, with, with, the, with Medicare. That's the Part B deductible. Okay. Everybody has that. You may not see it because your Medicare Advantage plan or your or your uh, Medicare uh, supplement plan will pay it. But that's what the deductible is with original Medicare. Medicare Advantage plans, you need to check, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you need to check if your doctors take the plan and if your drugs are covered. Compare premiums, co-pays, and deductibles, and annual out-of-pocket maximums. You cannot enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan HMO or PPO and a standalone Part D plan at the same time. So if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you don't want to listen to your neighbor that tells you they have a great Medicare Part D plan and enroll in that plan without checking it out because guess what? You could lose your health care coverage. Okay, very important. New Medicare enrollment will result in the automatic disenrollment from your old Medicare Advantage plan or PD plan. Uh, prescription costs are not included in a plan out-of-pocket maximum. Every plan has an out-of-pocket maximum. Okay, once you reach that out-of-pocket maximum, you're, uh, you don't have to pay for your costs anymore. Okay, for instance, uh, 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 Tufts has, uh, in a few of their plans, they have a $3,400 out-of-pocket maximum. If you spend $3,400 out of your pocket in medical costs, 
you no longer have to pay after that. But if you're spending $3,400 in medical costs, you're having a bad year. That's the bottom line. So we want to avoid that. We don't want to have a bad year. We're not looking to hit the maximum out of pocket, folks. Okay? And plans may offer extra benefits, and for that you have to check with the plans. You see on television, you see Joe Namath comes on. Yeah. Joe Namath, I like this guy. <laughs> Joe Namath comes on, he's touting all his other extra benefits. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? Plans can offer extra benefits, but they're related to a disease. Okay? If you have COPD, uh, 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 sometimes diabetes, or something like that, you can get some extra benefits, but they have to be ordered by your doctor. You don't get them by calling up. Hey, I want a ride. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. You've got to get a prescription to get the extra benefits. It has to be worked out with your doctor. Do we understand that? Don't fall for that trap, please. Okay? Because it's exactly what it is. It's a trap. They want you to call some plan, some outfit, and that outfit is interested in doing what? Selling you something. Yeah. And they get a commission. Okay, so don't fall for that trap. So the extra benefits are for particular diseases. They're not for everybody. Okay, and call your plan to find out about them if you feel you need them, and your doctor can prescribe them if, 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 if you do need them, okay? So don't fall for the trap on television, please. Because it's out there all the time. Craziness, craziness. God almighty, I want to watch real television. I said, this stuff shouldn't be on there. Okay, so uh, where am I now? Right there. You're right there. Don't go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so I want to talk about uh, about uh, uh, Medicare Advantage plans. Aetna plans. Does anybody have an Aetna plan? This gentleman here does, okay? Aetna plans. So they have the same same three plans they had last year. Uh, Freedom Plan is now the Explorer. They've changed the name. Okay, they've changed the names to their plans. And uh, and they're, they're good plans, okay? And uh, I thought I had premiums in here, but I don't. Copy the wrong stuff. And, uh, and they're, they're fine plans, okay? So if you're in their plan, maybe no problem. Blue Cross Blue Shield, same plans as last year. Monthly premium has been reduced for, for HMO Blue and Plus RX. HMO PCP copays reduced. They have a, a in, in, you can, if you have a, if you have a Blue Cross plan, you can now go to Reliant. Reliant is taking a Blue Cross coverage, okay? So Reliant, if you have a Blue Cross, HMO, a PPO, you can go to Reliant Clinic if you want to. You can also go to Atrix. All right, there's some other stuff here that, uh, that you can read. Uh, and also the shingles vaccine. People are asking about the shingles vaccine. That's going to be tier one, tier one in the Blue Cross plan. So you'll probably have a zero copay if you get the shingles vaccine. Okay, so the, that's important. Uh, there's a opioid treatment is covered with no copay, copay, and there's a hearing aid allowance, hearing aid allowance for most plans. So you get a, they get they got uh, an allowance for hearing aids. Okay, Fallon Medicare plans. Anybody in Fallon? We have some Fallon people. Okay, so again, Fallon's had some name changes. Uh, they now have Flex, the, the uh, name changes for three plans. Flex Enhanced RX is called Orange. Sabre Enhanced RX is called Green. And Blue Enhanced RX is called, excuse me, Plus Enhanced RX is called Blue. We have some new Worcester County plans. They have Central Orange, Central Green, and Central Blue for lower premium with limited network. So some of these plans, Central Blue will have a lower premium, but it's got a limited network of doctors you can see. Super Saver and Super Saver No RX are still available. Saver Enhanced RX, HMO, POS has been terminated. So that's a plan that has been terminated. The, uh, the POS plan, and they did have a lot of people in it, but it's no longer available. Uh, standard Enhanced RX HMO is also terminated, and that's no longer available. They are now the green plan for the, uh, the HMO POS, 
and the RX HMO plan is now the blue plan. Uh, tier 6 drugs, uh, zero copays for shingles, and anti-opioid drugs. So yeah, another plan that has a zero copay for the shingles vaccine. And as a benefit bank card for $125 to $1,000, it varies by plan, and that'll take care of like, uh, like over-the-counter prescription, over-the-counter stuff, and, and some other benefits you'd have to call a plan about. Okay? So that's some extra benefits for the talent plan. Any questions? You sure? Okay, I have a good crowd here. Yes, ma'am. You say that uh, Blue Cross covers shingles under Tier 1. Is that effective now or January 1st? Excuse me? You said shingles under Blue Cross is covered under Tier 1. Is that effective now or January 1st? It's January 1st. Okay. That's okay, I'd say January. You can ask, but I, I, I figure all this stuff is pretty much January 1st. Okay. okay. So if we can put it off, I want to try to do that. Okay? All right. Oh, you can better get calling. Uh, Harvard Pilgrim Plan. They have the same plans as last year. They haven't changed yet much. The HMO Basic RX plan lowered their out-of-pocket maximum to 4,500, and uh, that's uh, that that plan there is a zero premium, and they have a 4,500 dollars out-of-pocket maximum. That isn't bad. Tier one drugs are not are all coming in the gap for all plans. There's a hundred and fifty dollars to two hundred and fifty dollar a year over-the-counter allowance over-the-counter allowance for that. They have a wallet benefit, and that's reimbursement up to 200 to $400, and you need to, and that's uh, expanded to include fitness trackers. So if you want, a, you want a fitness tracker, like a Fitbit or something like that, the, the uh, people that have a pilgrim will take care of that. That's part of their plan. Uh, there's non-emergency medical transportation you can look into, okay? If you just want to go to the doctor, you can probably get transportation. And there's gift card incentives, incentives for preventive benefits. So you can get some gift cards from, you, from uh, Harvard Pilgrim. And then all of these extra things, I urge you to call the plan if you're interested in them. Okay? I, 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 I think you should call a plan. Help New England is not available around here. That's up in uh, the western part of the state. Uh, Tusk Medicare Preferred, uh, the same plans as last year. Uh, HMO Save RX with a zero monthly premium. Out of pocket maximum for that one is increased to $6,700. Uh, drug deductibles and some copays have been reduced. Uh, zero copay again for the Shingrex on all plans. Uh, there's a dental benefit now, they have a Dominion Network for dental. They used to be using Delta. Now they use a Dominion network. It's a plan you have to buy into. Uh, uh, and as a, for that, there's a $1,000 benefit for saver and basic on dental stuff. And uh, there's a rider that you can get for $17 to $30 a month where there's no waiting period. And again, they have an enhanced hearing aid option at, at, at Tufts as well. If, you, if you're in a plan, you can talk to them about it. Okay? All right? United Healthcare, name change, AAFT, Medicare Advantage, formerly uh, Medicare Complete. Uh, they have a copay, they have a dollar copay instead of a percentage copay for outpatient services now. It used to be a percentage. If you had outpatient services, you used to have to pay a certain percentage. Well, that might be nice, but they didn't tell you what the percentage was off. So it might be 20% of $3,000. That's a different, that's, that's painful. So, so they change it now to a dollar amount. I'm not too sure what it is. I, I haven't got it in front of me. Uh, new plan is an AFP Advantage Walgreens PPO. Uh, that's got a zero premium, zero PCP copay. Uh, Reliant is now on a network for United Healthcare. That's a big deal. Okay, uh, uh, for many years, United Healthcare has been uh, around, but they never really had a great network in Worcester County. Now they have the Reliant Network, so if, uh, if, uh, if you're interested in, in a United Healthcare plan, 
they certainly have doctors with Reliant, you can see. Okay, so if you go to Reliant, you have a family trust plan, and you're in Reliant now, you might want to take a look at, at, at United Healthcare as a possibility. Okay, that might be an option for you, if you want to change plans. Okay? Any other questions? Can you hear me? Yeah. Am I losing it? No. I hope not. I want people to leave, fall asleep. Can you hear me? Terrible. Excuse me? I can hear you. Okay. Part B preventive benefits. There's a list of Part B preventive benefits here. Medicare providers, many, many free preventive benefits, such as mammograms, some pap smear and pelvic exams, colorectal screenings, diabetes self-management training and tests, bone mass measurements, okay, prostate cancer screening, obesity screening and counseling, depression screening and counseling, annual wellness visit, and in an annual wellness visit, remember, that's not a physical. That's a, that's a visit with your doctor where you keep your clothes on and he asks you questions, okay? No fun. No fun, says the I got, a, I got a female doctor. Come on. All right. Well, anyway, so, so what he's going to do in an annual wellness visit, he's going to update your medical and family history. He's going to record your height, weight, body mass index, blood pressure, and other routine <coughs> measurements. And he's going to provide personal health, health advice and coordinate appropriate referrals and health education. That's done at an annual wellness visit. Okay, so that's what an annual wellness visit is. Talk a little bit about prescription drug plans. How many people have Part D plans? One, two, oh boy. Okay, so prescription Part D plans. They say they're voluntarily, but they're not. It could be subject to penalty if you don't have one. It provides outpatient prescription drug plans for people that generally have MedEx plans or, or, or Medigap plans. All Medicare beneficiaries are eligible. You can have A and or B. Coverage for Part D is provided by prescription drug plans, PDPs, also known as standalone plans, and Medicare Advantage plans. MAPD. So if you're, in a, if you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, an Aetna or a Fallon or a Tufts or something like that, you get your prescriptions through that plan. You get your prescriptions through that plan. If you're in a, uh, if you're in a uh, Medex plan or a, uh, another type of uh, a Medigap plan, you have to have a standalone drug plan. Okay? All right? Any questions? Okay. Now, this year, in 2020, the deductible is going up for your Part D plan. It can be, it may go up. Let me put to clarify that it may go up. It can go up to as high as $435. And the deductible is, you have to pay the, up to the first $435 out of your pocket. A lot of plans may not have a deductible, and some plans have a smaller deductible than $435. The initial coverage limit has gone up to $4,020. That's the limit where the plan will continue to pay 75% of the cost of your drugs. Uh, the other pocket threshold has gone up to $6,350. That's a point in time where if you take a lot of medications and you hit the donut hole, you're going to have to be in the donut hole until the cost of your medications hit 6350 So that's painful, okay? That's painful. But the cost of all your medications will go towards the donor. The total cost will go towards the donor hole. And then we have the catastrophic cost sharing. Uh, and uh, once you're out of the donor hole, you're, gonna pay, you're, you're only going to pay $3.40 to $8.50, $3.60 to $8.95 to your medications. <laughs> so that's 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 good. That some of that is good. Uh, not all Part D plans are made equal. Part D's and MA Part D's may vary based on monthly premium, deductible, copays, tiers, primary the drugs covered, and drug prices, and the pharmacy network. So there's a lot of variance in, in Medicare Part D plans. We know about Medicare Part D plans. Okay, they're all based on your individual drug list. Okay, they're all based on in your individual drug list. 
Nobody, your husband and wife, you could probably, you, most likely you have different Part D plans, okay? You're going to have different Part D plans. So it's something that's a very personal thing, and it's based on your individual drug list, okay? It's not based on what Mrs. Jones has or what Mrs. Very dangerous if you listen to your neighbor about a Part D plan because your drugs might not even be on the plan and your neighbor has it. It might be completely, completely different. So for 2020, we're going to have 25 plans in total in Worcester County. Last year we had 26. We have four plans with a zero deductible. Last year we had eight. Not good. We have 14 plans that do not apply the deductible to all tiers. That's good. Okay, that's good. That means in most cases for these 14 plans, tier one and two medications, the deductible is not applied to. Okay, the deductible doesn't apply to tier one and two medications. It does apply to tiers three, four, and five medications. All medications are on a tier. Generic medications usually are on tier one and two. Brand names can be on higher tiers. Okay, brand names can be on higher tiers. Do you understand? Follow me? Okay. PDP plan changes for this year. Uh, there's a new WellCare PDP plan, WellCare Wellness Rx. Now, there's, used to have a Netna, used to have Etna drug plans. Used to have Etna drug plans, okay? The Etna drug plans have now changed to WellCare plans. Okay, they, uh, they changed to WellCare plans. The Etna plans are no longer on the chat. You're probably, I'm sure you got some information on this uh, quite a while back, and you probably should have got some information on this back in, back in September if you had an Aetna Part D plan. Uh, three Part D plans are terminated. Uh, Silver Script Allure is now gone to Silver Script Choice. Well, well Care uh, Extra is now gone to Medi uh, Medicare RX Value Plus. And Humana Enhance is gone to Prime Premier RX. Uh, Humana Premier RX. Okay? Any questions? Sir? Sure. Back where you said on the uh, PDPs in 2020, you said 14 plans do not apply the deductibles to part to uh, tier one and tiers two. Tiers one and two. Right. I don't know. Does that mean that even though you're paying a, a portion of your drugs in one and two, that it doesn't apply? To your overall no no if you if you if you have so the, let's say the deductible is four hundred thirty five dollars okay if if you're in a if you're in, you get one of those plans that the deductible doesn't apply for tier one or two drugs you don't you, you'll get the you'll get that medication some cases for zero or, or short money you don't have to pay the deductible those three and four tier if it's a three if it's a a tier three drug you're going to have to pay the full cost of that drug. Do you understand what I'm saying? Until you get that $435, and then, and then it goes goes back to what the cost of the drug would be. Do you follow me? Yeah. The the plan cost. Okay. Do you understand? Does that help you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Important important stuff here. This is important. You made a Walmart RX plan. The name changed to. You may have Premier Rx. The premium more than doubled. Getting some calls on this. So people had this particular plan. They were notified that the plan changed its name. And the premium was going to go from $30 to $62.30. Okay? Unbelievable. So they didn't do any calculations or anything. They didn't look at, at people's uh, medications or anything. So we're getting calls on this. If this happened to you, I want you to give us a call or set up an appointment with, with Pat, and she can take a look at your drug list, and I'm sure there's a plan that will be cheaper and less expensive for you. 
okay, they're spending $62. I had a lady the other day, I was counseling up in Franklin, and she came in and she had one of these Humana $62 plans. She was taking four medications that were tier one medications, okay? I did a drug search and found that her medications were covered by a well care plan that was $15 a month, okay? And then in fact, she'd have no co-pays for her drugs when she picked them up, okay? So it's something you want to take a look at, especially if you got one of these Humana plans with a price more than double, okay? Understand? Thank you, very good. Uh, so, so that's important. Uh, Humana has a new plan, uh, uh, Humana Walmart Value RX plan for $13.20. Humana preferred RX name change to Humana Basic RX and Humana enhanced to Premier RX. Uh, preferred pharmacies. 24 of the drug plans have offer preferred cost sharing at select pharmacies. Humana Basic does not offer preferred cost sharing. Pricing can dramatically vary between pharmacies. Yeah, right. It's important for beneficiaries to contact their plan to check on their preferred pharmacy, pharmacies for 2020. Okay? So if you have a plan, it's a good idea to contact that plan or when you're looking at drug plans to see what the preferred pharmacy is. If you're going to the wrong pharmacy, the drug may be covered at the pharmacy. Okay, it could be a standard pharma, standard pharmacy that the drug may be covered in. But you're not getting the biggest bang for your buck. You're going to get the biggest bang for your buck at a preferred pharmacy. Okay, do you understand? You're going to get the, yes sir. I just want to add that one of my drugs was costing me $395 a month. And I said, it's ridiculous. And I called around to different pharmacists and I wound up getting it filled at that Israel Deaconess Medical Center's pharmacy of forty-two dollars a month. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And what happened to that? Yeah, and, and I was able to switch it over. And they so, mail it to my house and it comes to my so, that, that that's how some of the call you know, call your plan, work with your plan. Because preferred pharmacies, you get the biggest bang for your buck in these. And I, that's the same thing in Medicare Advantage plans, too. You get the biggest bang for your buck in preferred pharmacies. I'm saying thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. If, if you're going to a Walgreens instead of a CVS, you can pay thousands of dollars more for your medication. So I mean that. That's very important to check into. Uh, this year, oh boy. This is the hard part for most of you. This year, you know, we like to do drug searches and help people do drug searches. It's what we do at Open Enrollment. This year, uh, in order for us to do the best drug search we can, Medicare is requiring that uh, you have a My Medicare account, okay? And if you don't already have an account, you can go to My Medicare and click Create Account. Uh, when using a Medicare plan finder tool access to access personal data and save your drug list, you must log in using your My, MyMedicare.gov account username and password. If you do an anonymous search using the Medicare plan finder, the drug list can't be saved. So what that means to us is this, okay, in prior years, we could, you could come in and see us, you could give us your Medicare number. You give us the effective date of your Part A, and you could give us your, uh, your birth date, and we could do a search. We could find out what medications you were taking. We could look at your medications, and we could do a search to compare plans. This year, it's not that simple for us, okay? The, way, the only way we can do that is if we have someone's My Medicare account information. Then we can take a look at that stuff. We can't do it anymore the way we used to. If we do a drug search now, we, we have to type in every drug you're taking. You have to get an accurate drug list, and, 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 and we, can we type it in. And we used to be able to save, save it, get a drug list ID and a password. We can't do that anymore. 
Okay, so so they're really Medicare has really put a burden upon us to help you. By putting a burden upon us, it's 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 reduced our ability to provide you with the service that we're used to providing you. Okay, so so if you have at the back of this presentation, the back sheet has some information on setting up a My Medicare account. Okay, so if you have a family member or a caregiver can help you do that, there's a better chance of us getting uh, using that information to assist you at a higher level with more uh, more precise and accurate information. Okay, but that's that's that. Uh, choose wisely. Annual costs may vary by thousands of dollars, okay? And make sure you're in the best plan based on your situation. Review your drug plan and our Medicare Advantage plan every year during open enrollment to be sure it is still the best plan. Help to help help schedule a sign appointment. And again, that's Pat here who's willing to help you. Uh, lower your Part D costs. We get a few slides on that. If your drugs are very expensive and not covered by your plan, ask your plan for an exception to cover it. Ask your plan to cover the drug in a lower cost tier. Check with your doctor to see if a lower cost brand name or generic drug is on the, is on the formulary. Be sure you are using the lowest cost pharmacy. Ask your pharmacist if the cost can be lowered. Check to see if you're eligible for any assistance programs. And then we'll get into the assistance programs a little bit. Extra help uh, from Social Security. That's if your income is below, if, if your income is below uh, $1,400, no, let me go through my numbers here. If your income is below about $1,500 a month, you may be able to get extra help, okay? Prescription advances in Massachusetts, that's available to help you if you hit the donut hole. All right, a very good program. Other assistance programs include pro programs that are based on income or assets, <coughs> and a sign counselor can help determine which programs you may qualify for and assist you in applying. Okay? Prescription advantage for Massachusetts, Massachusetts residents is not Mass Health. If you're 65 if over on Medicare, income must be below. $62,450 if you're married. If under 65 on Medicare, income must be below $23,481 if married. Uh, excuse me, $84,000 if married, uh, $31,000 if, if, if married on the, on the other one. There's no asset limit with prescription advantage. Benefits include one chance a year to change your plans outside of open enrollment. And the annual limit on out-of-pocket spending may reduce costs in the coverage gap. Other drug assistance plans are patient assistant programs. Pharmaceutical companies may provide free brand name medications, co-payment foundations, nonprofit charitable organization and diagnostic schedule, uh, Rx outreach, nonprofit mail order for generics, mail uh, income limits are going to apply. So again, if you qualify, Mass Health is out there. Uh, senior buy-in pays Medicare premiums, co-pays and deductibles. Buy-in pays a 5B premium. And is there going to be an expanded eligibility for these programs in January 2020? We'll have some information about that on our website, www.shinema.org, that, that can help you with that. And again, for reviewing your Medicare options for 2020, you can schedule a sign appointment between October 15th and December 7th. This year, you will need a My Medicare account to do our most thorough personal search. And this is the instructions on setting up a My Medicare account. Again, if you can have a family member or if you're computer literate, I know most of you are. No, no. Call Joe. Not. But if you get a family member or a caregiver can help you, uh, that'll be great, okay? That'll allow us to, the best, to do the best search for you. Any questions? Any questions at all? Did I go too fast? No. Did I go too slow? No. Did you have dessert? Yes. What a great meal. I had yes. the first time. I'm coming here for, oh, God. Your birthday. How long have I been coming here? 
I've been coming here for a long time. And this is the first meal I had. Oh. It was very oh. nice to gamble off. Eddie, would you like a meal? Did you said, give me three bucks? Yeah, they don't want to feed you. Three bucks? <laughs> I didn't give anything. Um, okay. Lisa, get me in the way out. <laughs> the car I lost. I didn't know. It's going to cost me ten bucks before I leave. Unbelievable. You got it. But no, it was a great meal. It was a great, you, you got a great senior center here, great staff. Lisa Gale and, and all the folks yeah. uh, work yeah. real hard. Meals here, God Almighty, what a, what a wonderful, what a wonderful Beautiful. Thank you, Ray. And, uh, the first rate. So again, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, hopefully we'll see you next year, and uh, we'll keep you posted. Check out that website, and if you need an appointment, uh, make one for Pat, okay? And I'll be here in January. If you want, don't wait for me if you've got to change something. Okay? All right, thank you all very much. Lisa, you got anything else?